Creating views is usually one of the first steps when you start your project. How this can be done automatically in a fraction of the time with our linear desktop, I will show you in this video. For this purpose, I've started an empty project with Linear. First, I'll link the architecture model by loading it as a link into the project. To start editing the MEP, I first have to create the corresponding views. To do this, we want to transfer the stories from the architectural model into our project. This is done quickly and easily using the linear story dialog. Here you have the option to transfer all or only selected stories into your MEP model. In this case, I synchronize all stories at once, including the work levels created in the architectural model. The five floors now also appear in the linear control board and can now also be used for a comfortably visibility control to show or hide individual stories. Now let's create the first views. In this video, I will focus on the floor plans of the individual stories, which I will now create in just one step. However, you can also create all other types of views this way. So in addition to the floor plans shown today, you can create 3D views, ceiling and area plans. So far in this project, only the four views according to the directions are available by default. I will now generate the floor plans exemplarily for the discipline architecture, for example, to create the MEP rooms afterwards. Of course, you can do this for any of the other disciplines as well. The plus button opens the dialog to create new views. Here we see by default the view type, a view template, the current building part and the discipline. We select the floor plan here. You also have the option to use a view template. This can either be one of the ones provided or you can use any existing view to apply its properties. If you have created several building parts in your model, you can specify the one you want here as well. Next, the floors for which we want to create the floor plans. I will do this once here for all floors in one step. You also select the discipline here. We'll choose architecture. If you choose a different discipline, it will directly affect the visibility in the view. For example, if you select heating, only all elements from the heating system will be displayed in this view. If you have specified an LOG, you can also set this here already for this view. In addition, I can mark the views to be created as a sheet view in order to be able to filter them easily in the view dialog. This way, I can then very quickly display all views that are also used on sheets. The last checkbox allows the assignment to a user. This is especially valuable in a work sharing context. On the one hand, the user is then attached to the name of the views, and on the other hand, I can also filter the views later and display only my views or those of another user. If you only create one single view, you can also directly specify the name here. As we directly create all floor plans at once, they automatically get the story name as well as the associated discipline. Of course, you can change this later on. Now we select create views and all five floor plans are automatically created. You can see these in the linear control board by selecting the story. Finally, I will show you how you can transfer the settings of one view to other views. For example, I changed the scale and the detail level in the floor plan of the underground garage. If I now want to set this for the other floor plans as well, all I have to do is click on transfer view properties in the linear ribbon up here. Now you select to which views the properties of the currently selected view should be transferred. With one click, the properties will be synchronized. And as you can see, the other views now also have the change scale and detail level. This is the view creation with Linear, workflow instead of workaround.